What up, though? I'm Fat. I'm Tree. Welcome back to another edition of Facts and, and Tree. And today we're going to talk about the top debotation mistakes to avoid. So today we're going to talk about um, departation, which is leaving the ship. There are some process and things that you need to know and do before you leave the ship. So today we're going to talk about them. And the first thing is going to be preparing the night before getting off. So unpack, well, packing up. You have already unpacked embarkation. Now departation, you're packing back up, getting ready to leave. So what you want to do is pack up all your stuff that you unpacked and leave out an outfit. That way you'll have something to wear the next day. And you want to make sure that you pack everything that you unpack. You don't want to leave nothing. Mm -hmm. You want to check the cabinets. You want to check the closets. Under you, the bed. And you want to check the safe. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you got everything. So again, let's pack your items. Mm -hmm. And next we're going to talk about is account settlement. Yes. I mean, going down to the front office or checking it through the TV to see how much money you owe or what they owe you before it's time to get off the ship because it's hard to get it in the morning because guess what? The, the line is going to be long. Because if you ain't diamond platinum or some type of special privilege, you're going to have to wait in that long line. There's no walking straight up to the front. And most of the time, diamond and platinum has a long line as well. As well. So it's best to try to take care of the night before or early in the morning. And also you can check it on your Carnival Hub app. That's one of the reasons why we say download the Carnival Hub app. Mm -hmm. Because you can do a lot on that app without even going to guest services. You can check your charges right there. But if you need to settle mm -hmm. a charge, then you have to go to guest services. Guest services. But again, you can do it many ways without going to guest services. So that means, also that means, make sure you clean, or clean out your casino account as well. Yeah. Don't think that they're gonna just give you your money back. You have to go back and get whatever you have left. In your players bank. They'll set, they'll, Supposed to send it back to you, or even uh, they'll give it to St. Jude's. Yes. Whatever your choice. So you want to clean out your players' bank the night before, mm -hmm. before the casino closed, because the next day the casino does not open up. Mm -hmm. Because by then you'll be back on land, and when you're on land, the casino does not open. So the night before, go ahead and take a look at your um, player's bank, especially if you know you've been in the casino and you have um, put money in there and playing games. And that way you can get everything you need because you don't want to leave it because they will mail it and it takes them a while, a couple of weeks for you to get it. So again, go ahead and do that the, the, the night before. Next we're going to talk about is make sure you tag your luggage. Yes. Meaning tag your luggage just in case. Now let's say you wanna pack, once you pack up your things, you wanna uh, either tag up your luggage and give it to the stewardess. And they'll make sure it goes downstairs that we won't have to be tugging it around in the morning. If you wanna go to breakfast or you'll be standing that long line waiting to change out your account with your luggage when you can have it already set up for you. But if you already have that taken care of, and you decide, hey, I'm walking on off with my bag, then don't put the tag on it, keep it in the room. Next morning, go on down to eat, take your bag with you, or even come back and get it, and roll on off the ship when your, room is, your numbers are called. Yeah, there are two ways you can get your luggage off of the ship. The first one is, like he say, you can put it out the night before with the tag on it and the zone, and the stewardess will come by and grab it. Mm -hmm. Or you cannot tag it, don't worry about that. And then the next morning, self-serve, take it off yourself. Mm -hmm. We like the self-serve, take it off ourselves because most of the time we're rushing to try to get to the airport, trying to make that flight. Mm -hmm. So again, you, you have two options. So it's up to you. 
No one can tell you what you want to do. If you're used to them taking it and you going to breakfast and you have a lot of time to burn, that's fine. That's up to you. If you're in a hurry and you know you got to meet a flight or Uber, Lyft, or a family member, go ahead and walk it off. That way you off the ship, your luggage is with you, mm. and you ain't got to stop nowhere. You can keep going. Keep going. Next, we're going to talk about make sure how all the pictures that you wanted to purchase. Yeah. That way is in case you don't leave any money or you yeah. don't have any extra money to pick up. And if you have to throw two or three dollars on it, you can always go to the kiosk and, to and put two or three dollars on it to add it up and go ahead and get the pictures that you want. Yes. And the picture place, the Pixo place is open the morning of. They only open, I think, a couple of hours. They will open up about six or seven, and they'll probably close about 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. So, again, you want to try to get the pictures that you want, that you've taken. You don't have to buy them. That's up to you. But, again, they're open. Go ahead and purchase the pictures. Also, there's a new thing on the app. You can purchase it from breakfast. If you're taking breakfast the next morning, then you can look on the app, purchase it then, and then just go pick them up. And they'll tell you what time they'll be ready. So again, there are two ways you can do it. You can go down and look at the picture, purchase it, or you can also purchase it from your Carnival Hub app. That's a new feature on the Carnival Hub app. You can view your pictures that you've taken through that trip. You can purchase them through them. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe today. If you like these series of videos that we've been talking about, about packing, embarkation, deportation, well, you want to check out the video above. That way you can stay connected and know what you need to do on your next cruise. Yes. And if, if you're looking for a travel agent, you can always contact who? FatCenturyTravel.com and we will help you get to your next dream vacation. The bonus tip of today is download, download the, the Carnival, Carnival Hub, Hub app. app. You want to download the Carnival Hub app. That way you stay connected with your next cruise ship mm -hmm. and know what's going on. Peace, love, love and, and cruising. cruising. And next what we're going to talk about is booking your transportation already ahead of time for when you get off your Uber or be out there or your van service or whatever. And you won't have to worry about being in a crowded line trying to figure out, uh, is this van going to this airport? Is this van going to this part of uh, the state or wherever? If you already have it taken care of, they'll be out there waiting for you with a sign. They say fasten tree. Right here, right <laughs> here. We waiting on you. Yeah. Next, you're going to talk about book your hotel. If you plan to stay and you're not in a hurry and you plan to stay in the area another day mm -hmm. after the cruise, go ahead and have that taken care of. Book your hotel ahead of time. That way you'll know where you're going and you can give the address to your transportation company versus you going to the airport. Mm -hmm. So again, make sure you book all these things ahead of time. Next, you're gonna find, let the store to take your, um, your luggage. luggage. You wanna know where to collect it. Mm -hmm. You always ask questions, where do I go? It's always at the end. Once you come out and you go through customs and all that, it's usually down at the end after customs. And they'll show you and there will be a long, you know, lines of bags lined up. And they'll tell you, okay, you're looking for zone four, three, two, one. And that's how you collect it. Mm -hmm. So if you're not sure, just ask. They'll let you know. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe today. If you like these series of videos that we've been talking about, about packing, embarkation, deportation, well, you want to check out the video above. That way you can stay connected 
and know what you need to do on your next cruise. Yes. And if, if you're looking for a travel agent, you can always contact who? FatCenturyTravel.com. And we will help you get to your next dream vacation. The bonus tip of today is download, download the, the Carnival, Carnival Hub app. app. You want to download the Carnival Hub app. That way you stay connected with your next cruise ship mm -hmm. and know what's going on. Peace, love, love and cruising. cruising.